for our test today, this is the setup we're going to use. Uh, we're going to do a dishwasher test of a full cycle to see how much power it drains. So we have two 4.4 kilowatt hour Black Edition Mictronics battery modules. These are a 51.2 volt battery module, lithium phosphate. Each one holds 86 amp hours. So in total we've got 172 amp hours or 8.8 .8 kilowatts of storage. They're just both in parallel. We've got a phone here we're going to use to monitor the power going in and out of the battery. Uh, this is linked to the Bluetooth which is inside the breaker box here. Uh, so that just talks to it via Bluetooth. Uh, all this can be accessed over the internet too using our Easy Solar 2GX which is an internet enabled device. Uh, the Easy Solar 2GX is a 3000 VA inverter. It's got a built-in MPPT charger, a 250-70. So it's basically just a multi plus two but it's a bit fatter and it contains everything inside one package. It just neatens everything up and it makes it nice and easy to have a fully functioning system. We've got that down here, linked down here with the Mitronics breaker box. So this just takes uh, all the cabling and everything and neatens it up. It contains everything inside. We've got our generator main switch and inverter main switch. We've got our array isolators for array one and two. Uh, we're going to leave this off for now so that we can see exactly how much comes out of the battery. Uh, normally we would have that in the on position and have solar panels connected so that we're using the power we're generating at the time. Uh, but in this case we want to see how much power a full cycle pulls out of the dishwasher and uh, the only way we can do that is by having all the solar and generation disconnected. We're just connected to the dishwasher via a Whelan plug here and I've got a 30 meter lead. Now it's a heavy duty lead but I still because the dishwasher is pulling 8 or 9 amps I wouldn't recommend it. It's going to be a little less efficient so really in a permanent installation this should be hardwired uh, but for the purposes of this test I think this will this will do. Okay, so it looks like our dishwasher has finished its cycle. Uh, took about 36 minutes. We took 11% out of the battery, uh, which is 20 amp hours. Uh, so I used the 30 minute mode, which is one of the most efficient modes on this dishwasher. This is a European AEG. It's about 10 years old, so I wouldn't expect it to be as efficient as a newer dishwasher. Uh, so it might actually use less if you use a newer style. but Basically what the dishwasher did was it filled with water, it rinsed, then it had to heat the water up to about 50 degrees because of the 30 minute uh, setting. If you have a more intensive setting it heats the water higher, so the higher the temperature the more energy it uses. Uh, so it heats up the water, cycles it around, washes everything, then it uh, ejects that water, injects new water which is cold, has to rinse and heat uh, everything back up again eject it out and then that's it it's finished so all in all a good test the fan on the inverter did switch on when the heating element was on and then switch back off when the heating element turned off so that means it's not really getting very hot uh, we saw a peak DC load of about 2.3 kilowatts which is probably at AC uh, and taking into account, into account efficiencies probably around 2.2 kilowatts uh, maximum draw so all in all a good test thanks for watching